on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Right? Good morning, sweet boy. Good morning, sweet boy. <laughs> say hi, everybody. Say hi, say. We have missed everybody, haven't we? Say hi. Say hi. You're so cute. Good morning, everybody. Be prepared. I'm sure today will be lots and lots of um, Harper cuteness because we've got about two days worth of driving. I think we're going to try to split it up on the way down here. We were just in such a big hurry to get here that we drove, we drove for 25 hours straight, which was probably the most miserable thing ever. Although, this little nugget did amazing. He... <laughs> No breakdowns. He did. He did awesome. So um, on the way back, we, we might stop at a hotel a little bit later. Um, but anyways, so so we're on our way back um, to give you kind of a little update. Um, it's been like a handful of days, I think. When was the last time we checked in? Really well, officially? I checked in yesterday, but I didn't give you any real details. Okay. So, like, I just I just said he's improving. Right. He's still, um, he, he is improving, but it's just one of those things where when you're dealing with the heart and I mean, this has just been such a reminder to me through this whole experience, how important it is to really feed your body the right things, like to eat healthy. Like I, I just, if I can encourage anybody out there that's watching this, whether it's you or a family member, it's never too late until it's too late. You know what I mean? Like I, I, it doesn't matter how old, how young you are to start eating healthy and treating your body right because there are just things you only have, you know, one heart. You're, and really the good thing is, you know, my dad's heart is really strong. He's, he's never had miraculously through this whole experience. He's never had a heart attack, which has been amazing. But you know, just from, you know, a lot of things over the years, you know, your, your arteries get filled with, with plaque and they get, they become hard and thin and, and it's just hard for blood to move around your body, which is really hard. Um, and there's only so much they can do to fix things like that. So I just want to encourage you to change, you know, make those changes. I'm actually funny enough. I'm going to go, when I go home, I'm going to get a full physical. I haven't done one in a couple of years. Ben's going to go get a physical in that right, babe. Yes. Ben's going to get a physical, get, you know, your, our cholesterol check, all that. We're just, I mean, you know, we're, you know, hopefully not quite halfway through our lives yet. And I, I want to make sure, you know, there was a woman next in the room next to my dad that was 101. And she was in the intensive care, uh, the surgical intensive care unit because she had just had two blood clots removed from her legs at 101. And the only reason why they actually went through the surgery and did it because she is so healthy that they were like, we can't, I mean, you know, she could possibly live another five years, they said, which is amazing. Like I, I you know, I hope I'm, you know, she had like five generations coming to visit her from her family, which I thought was so amazing. So anyways, um, he still has another surgery um, in the next couple of days, and which is very, um, which will be good, but you know, it's very worrisome. He's had, uh, his body has been through so many traumatic events over the last week. And so, you know, there's always a major risk anytime you go under for surgery. We really were hoping we'd be able to stay for that, but we've been gone for over a week. And, you know, I mean, from a financial standpoint, we just have to get back. So that was really hard yesterday when I had to leave and, um, you know, say goodbye. Um, but I'm really believing that, that he's going to make it through all of this and that he's going to have just, I mean, it's a, it's a complete miracle multiple times over that he's alive at all like it, it really is a miracle and I 
I, I don't want to share too much really and truly because I hope one day he's going to be able to share it and that it's going to, you know, because it's really, it's really unbelievable. So anyway, so we are driving back. We just left. We left later than we wanted to. We wanted to leave around 6 a.m. We left around 8. Chicago's how it goes. Um... So we're gonna try to drive around 14 hours today if we can. If we can. We'll see how we do. Right, Harper E. Come on. Right, Harper E. You're giving me the side eye already. We've only been in the car an hour. 40 30 minutes actually. Right. Another thing, I, I really, 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 really hate traveling like this because your options to eat on the road are really crappy. Really crappy. Um, today is Tuesday, is that right? Today is Tuesday. That birthday was Sunday. So, we had a treat down Sunday. And then yesterday, didn't eat terrible, but had one meal that wasn't that great. And both Ben and I, just after eating a couple of meals, like we don't really, like up until then, we've eaten really well but he just feels so gross so I'm so ready and I haven't exercised in a week which because I've literally from the day we got here have been in the hospital just hours and hours sitting and just taking turns because um, where my dad is you can only go into his room two at a time so you know there's four siblings plus my mom plus my aunt and uncle plus all my cousins I mean like every you know visitors um, and yeah, so I just feel really disgusting. Like, really disgusting. I'm sorry if the lighting is weird. I'm obviously, we're driving through Alabama right now. It's a beautiful day today, actually, though. Very fall day. So, yeah, we'll just check in throughout the day, see what we get up to. I'm sure we'll stop at a Target to get out and stretch our legs. However, which I can show you, I got him. This is gonna be the most random vlog ever, actually. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take this out of the packaging. Hold on. So one of the other things I do every time I go down, my parents live in Mobile, Alabama, by the way. Um, every time we go down to Mobile, there's this place called Tiny Town. And you can look them up. Um, they actually do sell stuff you online, or if you go to their Instagram and you see anything um, on their Instagram that you like, you can call the store and they'll actually ship it to you, which I think is so cool. Um, but every time I go down, I always like to buy Harper an outfit, like a dressy outfit, because I mean, y'all know how I dress him normally. Um, they were calling him the hipster baby in the store because he had on um, a Beastie Boys t-shirt, um, our BC boys like long sleeve t-shirt black jeans and these like little black leather high tops and they they were calling him the hipster baby because people in the south don't dress their kids like that which I think is kind of funny but anyways so I did get him um, a little but when you know when I dress him up and take him like you saw at the wedding or like to church I like to I don't know I dress him a little bit more southern kind of what I'm used to which I think is really cute so um, I did get him an outfit but this, these kind of outfits Ugh, they're just so expensive. But anyways, this particular brand is called, let me see if it'll focus, it's called Bailey Boys. This is the, from the Classics line. Um, and I love, I mean, I'm talking I love their stuff. Their stuff fits Harper so well. So I did get this outfit. It's pretty big, but I think he'll be able to wear it throughout, I don't know if you can see it, throughout the entire fall. Let me hold it up. So there's the top. It's got the little Peter Pan collar. It's navy corduroy. I don't know if you can see up close. Um, and then it's got the double breast, but and then the corduroy buttons. See there it is. That's it's kind of like a tweed fabric. It's so cute. And then it comes with the little shorts that go with it. So um, and again, like I said, this is going to be really really big on him for now. 
Um, but I think it'll be, he'll grow into it, you know. Um, i trying to think if there's, yeah. Yeah, this is um, Tiny Town. They're just, they're called Tiny Town. And then that's the Bailey Boys website. It's just baileyboys.com. Anyways, I love their stuff. And I have um, a couple of things y'all probably seen that Harper has worn over the last, like, couple handful of months as Bailey Boys. Um, their stuff, I don't know. They just, like, I feel specially, you know, I think dressing little boys in dressing clothes is really tough. And I feel like there aren't a lot of companies that cut very well for little boys. A lot of stuff is real super boxy and just super, I don't know how to describe it. Either too long or too wide. And I feel like this particular company gets it right for, for boys. If you're, so if you're looking for like any kind of like dressy thing for like pictures or you just, you know, want to get something satin cute, um, I think this brand does it really, really well. So yeah, so that's about all that's going on right now. Um, we did, of course, stop at Starbies, get us a little iced coffee. And then that, we're just going to be in the car. Daddy, you want to add anything? Nothing much to add, just, just driving. Just driving. Just driving. Yeah. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. He's holding on to my backpack. Like it's his little, it's his little, like, handle, like in a car. <laughs> Oh, what a sweet little boy. I can't, oh, he has been so good. I cannot, I mean, he just, I mean, he's very loud and he's in that age where he's wants to be everywhere and into everything and that's the way he's supposed to be at this age. But he's been very good and I'm just so proud of him. So, so anyways, that's that. We'll check in with you guys a little bit later. I hope everybody's having a good day. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I know I've said it before, but you guys have been amazing. It's so comforting to read your comments, and I so appreciate it. And if anybody's ever been through, if anybody's ever been through any like you know hard things with family members, you know, my dad, I think it was last week, you know, had a triple bypass. I mean, there's lots of stuff just let us know any tips you know if any of you eat a heart healthy diet that's where we're all really really starting to do a lot of research about that and um you know I think and when, when my dad gets out I think I'm gonna just just for support I'm gonna join him in like a really stringent heart healthy diet for a while um really watch my sodium I exercise a lot, so I do need a little more sodium than what he's going to intake, but um, I may cut out some red meat for a while in solidarity and some things like that, so, so we'll see. We'll see what, what ends up happening. So. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to quit chatting because I'm sure this is very boring thus far. And um, look, even though I know it's kind of like, oh, you can't see it anymore. There was some water up there. I was going to say... Alabama actually really is pretty. It's Alabama the beautiful. It is That's pretty. The slogan. I know. But I don't know if you can see any of that. So, anyways, we'll check in with you a little bit later. And that's it for now. Ta-ta for now.